After having done with radar full report of an approaching target, a watchkeeping officer needs to decide whether the situation is necessary to be taken action or not. In case if you need to refer how to find the information of target vessel, please check the video in UQ OAW Triangle of Relative Plotting. In this particular case, you need to take action as there is a risk of collision. Of course, you will refer correct 72 collision avoidance regulations as necessary. However, we present in this video two different ways of taking action in order to avoid the risk of collision. Calculation in this video are so technical and intended for you to understand how a risk of collision can be avoided. After all, it is you to make a decision. Let's start from this point when you have collected necessary information of the dark vessel. First, as you are on the own ship and assuming you will alter your course to starboard by 25 degree, as your present course is 300 degree true, your new course will be 325 degree true. Now your own ship at the center of the screen is changing course to starboard by 25 degree, while WO line at the OAW triangle is also changing course with the same amount of degree. The point O at 1600 time mark is no longer at the position and shift to O1 as a new point on the new course of own ship. Then O1A and extended line is new relative approach line due to the result of own ship's actions of changing course. New CPA will be 1.7 nautical mile and the target vessel will pass on the port side of the ocean. You as an own ship has altered course to starboard by 25 degree and the result of your action is giving you a safe distance. In a crossing situation like this case, you are the giveaway vessel and you are responsible to take an avoiding action. Now, this could be the way you would take. Technically, there are other ways to take action. Not only the alterations of course, the speed reduction is also recommended. Have a look how an own ship alterations of speed will affect on the result. When you look at the original triangle, you will notice that WO, your own ship, is making 12 knots and heading 300 degree true. The calculated results is shown CPA is zero. You will collide with the target if no action is taken. What could happen if own ship reduced speed to six knots halfway from the original speed? And just wonder what could happen if own ship is literally stopped on the water. When you reduce speed to six knots, without changing your course, new O1A line can be drawn crossing point 
A and extending to measure the CPA from the ownership. In this case, new CPA is 2.7 nautical mile as a result of ownership action reduced down to 6 knots. However, if ownership reduced down to 0 knots, that means you stop your vessel as to take action. Then new relative approach line O2A shows in blue lines with new CPA of 5 nautical mile. Now you can say the more speed reduction you have made, the better CPA can be achieved. In practice, Speed reduction can be done only in gradual process in which actual speed of the vessel could be somewhere between 12 and 6 knots in the first minutes of taking action. And then further reduction of the speed could make the vessel actual speed as less than 6 knots. Therefore, total average speed you are doing throughout the action could be 6 knots even if you intended to reduce to the dead slow. However, for that, you will consult with the ship maneuvering characteristics. Here is just for your reference and you can have a sense of different results can be found on the different way of action. Thank you for watching video.